in mountain biking if you want to do this. This. Or this. You need to be able to do some of this. A bit of this. And a sprinkling of this. Being a proper mountain biker has nothing to do with how well you ride, but everything to do with how much random junk you can acquire in your toolbox. The inevitable fact about mountain biking is the more you ride, the more tools you'll slowly acquire, and soon enough your toolbox will look as messy as mine. Depending on who, what, when and where you ride, different people will swear by different types of mountain bike tools. So today, I'm going to give my toolbox a clear out and go through what I think are some of the most important tools for mountain bikers. So here we go. The first ingredient in a mountain bike toolkit is a box to put everything in. I've had this little beauty for quite some time and it does a great job. It's big enough to hold everything I need, yet compact enough to fit in the car so I can take it with me whenever I head to the trails. At the moment it's in better days, so the first job is to give it a new lease of life. And we're ready to go. The first thing to put in the toolbox is a set of Allen keys. In my opinion, these are hands down the most frequently used tool that you can buy for a mountain bike. I use mine all the time for any number of jobs. Because you'll need a few different sizes, you can buy a dedicated set, but I tend to use this handy multi-tool. It has plenty of different sizes to fit most areas of your bike, and it's small enough that I can put it in a bag or a pocket when I head out riding. Allen keys are definitely an item to keep in the mountain bike toolkit. This next one is a classic, tire levers. A set of plastic tire levers like this will set you back around three pounds. At some point you're gonna to need to change a tire and a set of these beauties will definitely help you out. Tire levers come in plenty of different shapes and sizes but I recommend getting the plastic ones rather than the metal ones so you don't scratch up your rims. Tire levers are often an underrated piece of mountain bike kit. We've all seen that guy pushing his bike back up to the trailhead because he didn't have the kit to change a tire. So into the toolbox they go. This next one is a bit different. When you're riding, one of the most important things that helps you perform at your best is having the correct tire pressure. A track pump is a tool that you can use before every single ride. Getting one with a pressure gauge will really help you out when trying to dial in your pressure for the conditions. Although it isn't exactly toolbox size, no toolkit is complete without one. When I'm riding, I tend to take a compact pump with me in my backpack just in case but using a track pump before you hit the trails is quicker, easier, and much more accurate. Definitely one of the most important tools you'll buy. Some of the cheapest things you can buy for your toolbox are also the most handy. Cable ties. Cable ties can be used all over your bike and you never quite know when they're gonna come in handy. Whenever you go out riding, you're not planning on breaking anything on your bike, but for some trail side fixes, there's nothing better. You can get cable ties in pretty much any colour and thickness known to man, so why not get a couple of different sizes? A cheap pack of cable ties can cost you a couple of pounds, so why not throw a few in the toolbox just for a rainy day? The last toolbox must have is a bit of a two-parter. The first is a set of quick links. For anyone who's ever broken a chain while out riding, you know that these little links are a trailside godsend. They can help you put your chain back together in a matter of seconds. They're also really useful for taking a chain apart without having to push the pins out. The tricky part about quick links is getting them undone, because this involves awkwardly pushing two of the links together. For this, I use the second part, which is a quick link tool. This simple tool is something that can stay in your toolbox until the time comes, but definitely makes the job a whole lot easier. When it comes to quick links, there's no question. These are going straight in the toolbox. So there we have it, the perfect beginner's mountain bike toolbox. I'd love to hear about your must-have tool for the toolbox, so let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.